Hi there, this is Lalita Raman. Today's topic is walk a mile in my shoe. I was traveling by train a couple of years back. Uh, this incident took place a couple of years back. I was traveling by uh, train one day and I was lost in my own thoughts. Suddenly I see a man sitting on the opposite seat. He had several bags placed on the seat next to him. He seemed completely unaware of what was happening to him. So much so that he didn't even hear many passengers saying, excuse me, requesting him to move his bags. Suddenly I was shaken by a rather rude and loud comment, are you deaf and blind? This man suddenly looked at this person who had made this comment and removed his bags. But unfortunately, there was no stopping this rather loud person who had made this comment till a third person got up and told this rude person to stop and she added, excuse me, please leave him alone. He has just lost two of his kids today. There was a resounding silence that followed. The reason this incident left an indelible mark with me was because the takeaways for me was how can you judge without even knowing me? You do not know what I have been through. Have you walked in my shoes? Very often, and this happens to many of us in our day-to-day -day lives, we are in a rush with a million things to do, and deadlines to meet, and sometimes to top it all, we probably have not had a very good start to the day or something has gone wrong. And on a day-to-day -day basis, we also bump into several people with different strokes in our office, on our way to the coffee shop, probably in a supermarket, in airport lounges and what have you. Yes, we all have our troughs and peaks in a day. However, what we need to control is our mind. We should not allow our mind to imprison us, which means awareness is the biggest key to control our mind. The mind is a great and fantastic tool and a great help to cope with the outside world. But we have to own the mind and not allow the mind to own us. Many times when friends of mine pass comments like, do you have a life? Soon after when I politely say no to attending an event or not eating some food offered to me, I give that look to them which basically expresses, did you feel every pain I felt? I dare you to walk a mile in my shoes. You would not last a day. You cannot even imagine the things I have seen and felt. So if each of us don't like to be judged and be a victim of rude, thoughtless comment, next time, stop yourself from saying something that may come to you at the spur of the moment. I would like to end this with one of my favorite songs by Elvis Presley, which conveys the crux of this topic well. Walk a mile in my shoe. Next time, think twice. Thank you very much. Walk a mile in my shoe. Hey! Just walk a mile in my shoe. Yeah, before you abuse, criticize and accuse. Just walk a mile in my shoe.